Hey guys, how are you doing today? I hope that you are doing fantastic. I know that I am fantastic. It is Memorial Day weekend and I am super stoked about that. You might notice that I actually did something with my hair and I actually have real makeup on because Aaron and I are going to a wedding today and um, I don't know how most people curl their hair every day. Like, seriously, you guys have some dedication. And like putting on like a full face of makeup, seriously, high five to you because man, my arms were hurting like taking the straightener and like trying to like curl and make sure there's no straight ends and, and everything like that. It was a pain in the butt, but I think it turned out, you know, pretty good, pretty good. So today's video is all about my top five cozy companions. One of the most endearing, um, parts of a cozy mystery is if they have a little cozy companion who either helps solve crimes or helps the mystery go forward or just helps, you know, relieve the protagonist of her anxiety and everything like that. And so I am super, super excited to give you my top five favorite cozy companions. And so sometimes it'll be a puppy, sometimes it'll be a cat, sometimes it could be a crow. You know, you never really know with me. I love, I love all of the, the cozy companions. Now I might not necessarily love the protagonist in every single one, but I do love their, their little cozy companion. So the very first one that I'm going to talk about, I have in an ebook and it is London Lovitz, the Port Danby series. I love um, her crow Kingston. Oh my goodness. He is just, he is sassy. And I know that like, that's weird to say because he's a crow. You're like, Courtney, he can't even make facial expressions like a dog. I'm like, I know I get it, but he's just, he puts up with her. He helps guide her and take care of her. And and I really, really love that he comes to the flower shop with her. That makes my heart really, really happy. The next one that I am super excited about is the Magical Bakery Mystery Series. I love Honey, but I also love her dog as well. Um, he is sort of a, uh, sort of like a witch's companion. And he senses magic and he senses um, when she's in danger and when to take care of her. His name is Mungo and he showed up one day in the first book and he just didn't leave her side since. And I, I really, really, really like him. He is fantastic. Honey is the name of the, um, it's Honey Bee's Bakery and it is uh, her aunt's familiar and so she sort of senses magic as well and so they're really, really, really fun to get to know. The next Cozy Companions is, I have talked about them multiple, multiple times and that is Hercules and Owen from the Magical Cats Mystery Series by Sophie Kelly. I am so in love with these cats. They are, they're just like brothers. They pick on each other. They have very different uh, personalities. One likes listening to music with uh, Kathleen and then the other one is sort of like playful and loves like rubber ducks and, but they are, they've got magical abilities. One can go invisible, one can go through material and they sort of help her catch the, uh, the, the antagonist, the killer. And it's just, they are, they're quirky, they're fun and I love them so much. The fourth sort of cozy companion that I'm going to talk about is <laughs> Hamlet from the, um, Black Cat Bookshop Mystery Series. He is just like the most well-read cat that I have ever read about. Like he just, he drops clues to um, Darla Pettystone, the book owner of the uh, Dee's Brooklyn Bookstore. And it's called Pettystone's Fine Books. And he knocks books down to give her clues. And she has to sort of know what that book entails to sort of get what they're doing or what who the next clue is about and different things like that and so I I love Hamlet he's like he doesn't give a crap kind of like cat he's like that quintessential like I'll come to you if I need pets kind of cat and he's just 
He's fun. I like him. And last but certainly not least is <laughs> Eddie from Lending a Paw. We read this earlier in the year for the Cozy Mystery Book Club, which if you are not a part of the Cozy Mystery Book Club, you need to be. You can go over and check our Twitter. Our Twitter has um, a poll right now for what June's book is going to be. So make sure you head over there. We will decide um, by the live stream on the 30th of May. And so make sure you go and vote before the poll is finished. But um, Eddie was the star of this book. He had the most personality, like the way that he meowed and brrr, like, like that was just, ugh. He was so funny. Um, the main character is Minnie. She has a bookmobile and he sort of sneaks his way on there and into her heart and everything. She's just, Eddie is the best and I feel like he really is the, the main character in the Bookmobile Cat Mystery series. I, I absolutely love him. So tell me, who are your favorite cozy companions? Because there are so many cozy companions that I have forgotten about or haven't even read or just let me know down below what is your favorite series that has cozy companions in it, whether it's bird, whether it's a cat, a dog, a fish, a turtle. I don't care. I want to know about all the furry friends. Let me know down below. That is the end of this chapter of Courtagonist. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, guys, happy reading. Bye!